Hey guys, my name is Combo Shooks again here and today welcome back to another let's play video. And in this video I'm gonna be playing Minecraft Story Mode. This is gonna be episode one in episode one. Yeah, of course, I'll be doing a full let's play on this from episode one to episode eight. Well, I mean episodes in the game itself. I mean like this. Episodes. So yeah, and well what I want to say is like, subscribe, and if you guys want to see more, oh no, if you guys want to see more, please, let's reach 1000 likes on this video, or even 100 likes, I'll take that, let's reach either one of those likes, and I will not, you will not be hearing my voice in this episode at, at all, I'm sorry, but yeah, you will not be hearing my episodes in this my, my hmm. you will not hear me talk in this in these videos besides the starting of the video so yeah let's do the volume for you guys and see you guys at the finish Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran the Architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. So basically, hmm. okay. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken sized zombies or ten zombie sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor. So That's easy. I'll take the, uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. 
So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? What kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's okay. what we do. Oh, okay, that might be true. I can't remember the last time we've won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win at being losers. <laughs> all right. Fine. Did you hear that? Totally freaked out. That was uh... Uh, Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Well, zippity doo dah. Okay, relax. It's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. <laughs> shear is definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. One of these days, we're going to win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. You really should change the name. this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. everything let's roll yeah dude roll let's go i heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition but you guys have to promise not to say anything okay also it's in two parts each part more exciting than the last spit it out axel part one the special guest at this year's intercon is none other than gabriel the warrior him freaking self whoa what's part two Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It would be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. 
You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year, we've got Ruben oh, with us. No. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Let's build an Enderman. Uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying, uh, awesome. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <gasps> Dare to prepare on three. No, 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 no. Preparing is daring. No, that's that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. team. Prepare. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the order of the pig. <laughs> really? Samantha ties to Reuben, or are you making fun of me? Okay, Order of the Pig. You guys are in booth five. Oh, ah, ah. Is that a freak? 
freaking beacon. They have a freaking beacon. Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Oh, a beacon sounds awesome. Almost as awesome as us, am I right, guys? I have no idea how we're gonna beat that. Don't leave me hanging. This might be too much for us to handle. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha, ha, ha. Look, it's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Uh, you really shouldn't mess with Reuben. I do what I want. Besides, what arm can a pig do? Keep talking and find out. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Pet. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friends some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... Uh... The Redstone Wrap. Leaving the designated crafting areas for any reason. And please... Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the order of the pig can't lose. Try your best. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. Don't worry about your build. We'll worry about ours.
Ruben? Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Hmm, pig tracks. Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. Just oink if you can hear me. I hear some pigs. These definitely belong to a pig. Huh, there's no way Ruben made these on his own. Hey, Ruben. I got a carrot for you. Where are you, buddy? Ruben, are you in there? out here. Ruben? Ruben? Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Ruben. to see you.
with something. There's too many of them, buddy. Leave that spot, no matter what. You hear me? I got you. Get away from him! No, he got you! show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Y y this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you better appreciate this. You risk your life for that dusty old skull? Oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. The guy you got the skull for, what's his deal? He's kinda strange, I guess. But hey, everybody's got their thing. And you never thought to ask him, hey, what's with your whole... Totally normal, not at all weird skull thing. As long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones... Equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No. We're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack. Just place the pieces on the table. Jesse, we don't have all night. Yeah? See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won. Enderman was the right way to go. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. 
Petra will need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. What a lecture on the power of my fists is short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers! Crap! Ah! This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump! together and follow me. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. Should I be nervous about this? Given your personality, your life experience, and everything else you've done to make it to this moment, yes. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben. What happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good, but Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't found me. Sorry we didn't come with you, Jesse. But hey, we won! Looks like abandoning friends and their time in need paid off yet again. Our Enderman is so lifelike, I don't even want to glance at it. We did okay, didn't we? I still wish I'd gotten that part in the back to look better. We deserve a victory party. Who's in? I like all kinds of parties, but especially ones where I get to celebrate winning. About time I'll be the guest of honor at something. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay. New plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. Just who are you? I'm waiting. 
The name's Jesse. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whenever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well, I'm a very busy man. I'm with Petra. My deal is with her. Not her partner. She'll be here, but we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't? You'd better not be toying with me. Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Oh, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you asked for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met. And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Let's just do this thing. That's what I thought. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I knew we couldn't trust that guy. Screw this. We're going after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Did you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. Hey, uh, congrats on the win. I mean, I still think our beacon was amazing, but you guys did a pretty good job, too. I mean, I thought the whole monster theme was plenty cool, but fireworks, too? Your beacon wasn't too shabby. You don't have to do that, okay? You guys won fair and square. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh, everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Coolio. Coolness. Ha! See you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. Ha ha ha! I thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy-looking, beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated, mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. But I swear, as soon as the demonstration is over, we really need your help, Axel. If we don't find this guy soon, we might never find him. I was looking, I just got distracted. All right, all right, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get home. <laughs> I 
I see you now, weirdo. Wow, that isn't Team Trash Bag. How's your stupid pig? I hear intense heat causes brain damage. Hey, you idiot. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? You, now move! Hey! Hey, what do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. Ruben? Where'd you wander off to? Get your pork chops here. Fresh off the boat. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Ruben! What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig! You kidnapped my pig! Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. I found this pig wandering alone in the streets. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. Give him to me now. You wouldn't be threatening me, would you? What if I am? I'm not interested in arguing with you. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Give me back my pig. All right, you little maniac. Fine. Take him. It's yours. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I was so busy trying to find that creepy dude, I didn't notice. Okay guys, so, sorry, I have to end the episode here, I'll continue this episode, the episode, well, I'll make episode 2 of it, we'll continue next time, so, thank you guys for watching this video, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys, bye!